Hello and welcome to K21 Academy's AWS Solution Architect Associate video series. Today, with our AWS Certified Trainer, we are going to cover difference between EFS, EBS, and S3. Amazon Elastic File System provides a simple, scalable, fully managed Elastic NFS file system for use with AWS Cloud Services and on-premise resources. Amazon Elastic Block Store is an easy-to-use, high-performance block storage service designed for use with Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud for both throughput and transaction-intensive workloads at any scale. Amazon Simple Storage Service is a storage for internet. You can use Amazon S3 to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. You can accomplish these tasks using AWS Management Console, which is a simple and intuitive web interface. What are the differences between different storage types? We will cover all such questions in this video. Before we move ahead, I would like to recommend our previous video on AWS Multi-Factor Authentication. You can also check out our blog on the same by visiting k21academy.com slash awssa23. Now, in this video, our AWS Certified Trainer will be talking about difference between EFS, EBS, and S3. So let's hear what our trainer has to say. So uh, difference between the, the uh, three types of storages has, has been briefly explained here. So Amazon S3 can be publicly accessible. You do not need a server to access it. And Amazon EBS can be accessed only via uh, only via the EC2 machine. So here it can be accessed via several uh, EC2 machine and AWS services. So it is a, it provides your web interface. It provides your file system interface. EFS provides you both web and file system interface. So this comes under object storage. Uh, this comes under block storage and EFS comes under file storage. Amazon S3 is scalable. Amazon EBS is hardly scalable. It is uh, not as much easily scalable like other two and EFS is highly scalable. So uh, depending on the performance accordingly each of the category works. As you can see Amazon S3 will be slowest among all so it, it will be around in a tier 3 and Amazon EBS is the fastest among all it will come under tier 0 and Amazon EFS will be faster than S3 and slower than EBS it comes under tier 1. Right so uh, based on that tires based on the performance uh, accordingly that kind of hardware will be used in the back end of each of the storage services. So basically Amazon S3 is good for storing backups and uh, Amazon EBS is meant to be easy to drive and EFS is good for shareable application and workload. So since EFS can be connected by multiple servers, it is good for shareable application and workloads. So that was our AWS certified trainer explaining about differences between EFS, EBS and S3. You can also check out our blog on the same by visiting k21academy.com slash AWS SA24. Elastic File System, Elastic File Store and S3 are part of AWS Certified Solution Architect course in our training program where we cover all these topics in detail. If you are not yet AWS certified and would like to see what to expect in the exam or how to prepare for it, I would like to invite you for a free 90 minute session with AWS Certified Expert Trainer. We will talk about AWS Solution Architect course. Additionally, we will show live demo, creating S3 bucket and making the data available to the entire world. We will also share information about the certification exam. So you can register for free by going on to this URL, k21academy.com slash AWS SA02. Please click on the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on our upcoming video.